Hi everyone, it's Devil from Fortress of Solitude and I'm back once again taking a look at some more awesome blasters from Nerf. Now today we'll be taking a look at this bad boy right here. This is the Nerf Ultra 1 Blaster. Now I'm going to give you a closer look at what this blaster basically does and how it works. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it, uh, tell you what I think it does well and what it could do better. And basically just give you my overview of, of, of what I think of this new blaster from Nerf. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Boy. Right, so here we have the Ultra One Blaster from Nerf. Now, first thing we're going to take a look at is the new Ultra Foam Dart. Now, you'll notice that the foam dart has a little notch at the back. Now, that is for the fire mechanism in the blaster. The fire mechanism actually detects that little notch and then it, it activates it. Uh, now, Nerf has touted these new darts as their best yet. Now, uh, when it comes to, to accuracy, I've, I've noticed that uh, it actually fires in an arc, which m takes a bit away from the accuracy. It's difficult to, to be really accurate when a dart, uh, you know, fires it in an arc. Um, but as far as distance goes, these uh, darts have actually surprised me quite a lot. They actually do travel quite far, uh, especially when compared to some of the other Nerf uh, the foam darts out there. Now, as for the blaster itself, uh, you'll notice that it works with this uh, nice little um, magazine here at the uh, bottom where you load in your foam darts. Now you'll notice that, uh, as I mentioned, it is quite important that when you load your foam dart, it actually goes through all the way back. You'll see that the notch needs to stick out at the back. If the notch, notch does not stick out at the back, um, the fire mechanism will not detect it and will actually not activate. And you might think that it's actually jammed, but it's actually just the dart that's not been pressed in deep enough. So that's something to take note of. Um, other than that, the, 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 the blaster actually looks really great. Uh, I love the color scheme. There's a lot of detail on it. Um, uh, the fire mechanism basically works by uh, pulling down on the little lever here, which activates the, the motor, and then pulling the trigger to fire. Now, as you, as you can hear, it, it, it's quite loud, but I mean, uh, when you're running around uh, firing at each other and, and laughing and having fun, uh, that noise actually doesn't matter at all. Now, um, should the actual uh, blaster jam, which I haven't experienced at all, there's a little latch here, which actually uh, allows you to unblock you know, any, any jams that you might have. Um, you also have the tactical rail at the top, which actually fits with, um, you know, it, it actually uh, uh, works with any of the existing uh, uh, nerve attachments that you can get. So this tactical gear is compatible with that. And then you have a little area at the back where you can actually store your foam darts. So you'll see that you can slot in some extra ones there. Now it isn't a lot, there's only uh, eight in total, but I mean, when you've run out of darts, um, you know, having eight uh, is better than having nothing. Um, again, we'll take a look at the other side with the nice little branding there, Nerf 1 and Ultra. Um, overall, a really good looking Nerf uh, a blaster um, and one that actually looks really intimidating. Now, let me give you my final thoughts on this blaster um, and tell you what I like about it and what I think it could have done better. So what are my final thoughts on the Nerf Ultra 1 blaster? Now, first off, I have to say that I really like the color scheme. Um, I, the orange and the white and the black just pops and it looks really, really futuristic and it looks really great. Um, as for the actual uh, blaster itself, um, it, it looks really intimidating. And although it looks intimidating due to its, its large size, I have to say it's, it's quite easy to handle. It's not as heavy as you would think. It's, it's surprisingly lightweight. And uh, you know, kids wouldn't have an issue you know, just handling this and firing it off, which is really great. I also have to say that I like the fact that you get that, that, it, that it's got this magazine with all these uh, you know, do foam darts in there, which means that you can fire off a load of foam darts without having to reload. Um, as for jams, I didn't experience any jams uh, during my testing, but it's really nice that there is this little latch at the top here to help you uh, sort out any jams that you might experience. Um, now, where I was a bit disappointed was with the actual accuracy of the blaster and the new Ultra darts. Now, this was mainly due to the increased range of these darts. Uh, the range is really surprising. It, 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 you know, I got a really great range with these darts and the blaster. But because of the longer range, uh, it, the actual dart tends to you know, uh, go in an arc, which means you do lose some accuracy over longer distances. Now, because this uh, uh, is a, a, uh, a blaster with 
such a huge uh, cap uh, phone dot capacity. That means that even if you are not as accurate over longer ranges, you can still spray and pray and you should by the third or fourth uh, foam dot actually hit your target. So while it's not as accurate as I would have liked, uh, the fact that you can fire off so many foam dots in succession means that you'll still be able to actually hit your target eventually. Um, now overall, I really like this blaster. Um, I have to say that for those Nerf enthusiasts in the family, this will make a great gift or a great little thing for them to find underneath the Christmas tree. Uh, I think that any Nerf gun collection would look really great with this added to it. Um, it fires really well, works really well, and I didn't have any issues with it during my time uh, testing it. Now, I just want to thank Hasbro for giving us the opportunity to take a look at the new Nerf Ultra One Blaster. And if you'd like to find out more about my thoughts on the Blaster, please go and read my written view on Fortress of Solidity. But for now, I'm the Below, signing off. Thank you for watching.